The sentencing yesterday of the murderer of Nadine Lott to life in prison is front page news this morning. 34-year-old Daniel Murta was convicted in August of murdering Nadine Lott in 2019. Many headlines reference the victim impact statement from Nadine's mother Claire, who described murderer Daniel Murta as the devil at work. Images of Nadine are on the front of the Irish Sun, the Irish Independent, the Irish Daily Mail, the Irish Daily Star, the Irish Daily Mirror and the Herald, while pictures of her mother Claire and her family and friends outside the Central Criminal Court yesterday are on the front of the Irish Times and the Irish Examiner. In the Star, Paul Healy has reaction to the sentencing from Rose Callaly, whose daughter Rachel was murdered by her husband Joe O'Reilly in 2004. The family recently marked the 17th anniversary of the murder. She says, It really does destroy your life in loads of ways. I know I'm very strong, but I notice as years go on that you haven't the ability to take the other hits you get. Corporation taxes on the front of the Irish Examiner and the Irish Times, which has the story that the government may decide as early as Thursday on whether to join the international agreement to set a minimum rate of 15%. The Irish Times reports that Finance Minister Pascal Donoghue has been seeking changes to the draft agreed this summer, which stipulates a minimum rate of at least 15%. We're told Ireland wants the phrase at least to be removed because of fears it would leave the door open to a higher minimum rate in the future, destroying the certainty it says it needs. Eilish O'Regan reports in the Independence lead story this morning that the chances of COVID booster vaccines being rolled out to all adult age groups have increased amid new evidence of the waning effectiveness of vaccines against infections. A study appearing in The Lancet today shows effectiveness against infection declined to 47% six months after people got two doses of the Pfizer vaccine, although crucially, the findings show it remains strong in preventing hospitalisations. Separately, the European Medicines Agency yesterday cleared the way for Pfizer booster shots for over 18s. We're told NIAC will assess the evidence and decide on booster rollouts here. And the news that Star Trek's William Shatner, a man who at the age of 90 has certainly lived long and prospered, is to, as the mail puts it, oldly go into space, gets extensive coverage this morning. And elsewhere on page three of the mail and indeed elsewhere on the age spectrum, the story that pop superstar Billie Eilish will become the youngest ever Glastonbury headliner when she plays there in June of next year.